Hi, this is Kara Hart, and this video is actually dedicated to my tallest daughter. So I'm going to go through my junk journal walkthrough as if I'm talking to her. I will keep my chat up in case anybody has any questions, but um, this video really is for you, sweetie. And it's for you and your new baby. So let's go ahead and unwrap it and I'll talk you through all the reasons why I made some of these decisions and others who want to make something like this, who do junk journaling or hand making their own journals or even if they want to begin this craft, it is the most serene. So I did a real time walkthrough pretty much all day long today and I don't even know how many of um, the whole process of creating it. So this one is uh, made out of hemp twine. And this just came off of, of uh, sheets, so I'm just upcycling. So there's no real meaning to that. But you know how when you get sheets and it does the twist twist and it's just a pretty tie? But anyway, the white ribbon. So on here, you are a game changer. I believe that at some point in your life, you'll be making a huge difference in something big whenever you choose, whenever you choose to do that. And one of the things that could be something big is your brand new baby, who's so tiny right now. And so I'm not going to tell you how I made this, because if you wanted to see all that, then you could just watch the videos. I'll just share. And then it says... Um, interactive journal that way you know to flip and look for things and it'll be kind of fun when you're when you're bored and if that even happens anymore <laughs> but yeah and my intent here was to not make it girly um, even though she's a sweet little girl so here is a peacock as beautiful as it is um, got lucky coming across this it just made a good spot and it's and it says here for you to use this um, and write that it, it's from the library of right I can't even read it the miniature library of is what it says nothing miniature about this this baby's chunky uh, behind your little card here there's an envelope for you to go through and this envelope actually came with this fabulous peacock you can write on it you can doodle notes on it um, the little bicycle reminds me of when you were in high school and you were riding your bike to school. You can put a little note there. Um, this is this is Greek writing. Even though you weren't a sorority, it reminded me of you when you were in college. A couple of little lovebirds. I use them again later. And then a bit of coffee is in behind that. And I wasn't sure where you wanted to put these, but these were the only things that I left up front. Um, and... The cup of coffee is funny because you don't drink caffeine. Um, but you let me know if you choose to drink caffeine after you have this baby. That would be interesting to know. Because getting only like an hour and a half right now, whew, I don't know about that. Okay. And this is a canceled stamp. I don't even know exactly where it's from. Um, these are blank for you to journal on. And I made this square just in case you wanted to frame it and doodle on it or, you know, however you want to do that. Now, the purpose of this envelope is to put a couple of things that you can just toss the things that are in there now. But the purpose of that envelope is for you to put a couple of things in that you need to put somewhere in the journal later, but you don't want to do it right now. Now, here it says the to the woman about to become a mother or with the newborn infant upon her bosom. Wherever she bears her tender burden, this book is respectfully de dedicated. Um, I pulled this from a very vintage book um, about obstetrics and nursing. And then this came from, so your grandmother and all of the lady ancestors besides me uh, know how to knit and crochet. And there was a, there's a book where I have a whole bunch of them. They're little teeny books and it's called The Work Basket. And I would guess that some of the crocheted items, like the one that I gave you at the baby shower, are probably from the work basket. So that's what that's for. This says traditions. 
Then here it says, here's to strong women. May we know them, may we be them, may we raise them. And then this one is all about you. I shared the, this with you on the phone. I'm not lucky. You know what I am? I'm smart. I'm talented. I take advantage of the opportunities that come my way and I work really, really hard. Don't call me lucky. Call me a badass. Shonda Rhimes wrote that. I think it's great. So by Grandma Hart, it says Baby Book. And it's her name. And then down here, I put by me copyright, but I'm really only, I, I don't know why I did that. Um, I was just copying a template from um, um, Apple and I just followed it. But to, like anybody could ever full on copy this, that might be difficult. I did what my conscience told me to do and you can't fail if you do that. And that was when we were talking about, and I had already pulled it aside, um, but what we were talking about uh, was the same advice that your sister and your cousin gave you in doing, um, here we go, is it, the, in, in raising your new baby, uh, play and have fun, that's certainly, the memories I have most with all of you kids is about playing with you guys and hanging out, um, celebrate your life and her life in the process, so make sure you don't forget about you. And then I put a little note here where it talks about um, what you want to attach on your blank pages. And so for those of you who are following along with what I'm sharing with my daughter, it says, attach on the blank pages, birth announcement, baby shower invitation, first birthday invitation, newspaper cutouts or headlines of right now, like go grab a newspaper put that in there because it's kind of fun when you go back and see those things and so make sure those kinds of things are in here um, a footprint an ultrasound picture um, first snapshots random pictures of anything or anything that brings you smiles in the, this first little bit and it doesn't have to be just a baby book you can fill this up all along the way so in here I put this because I just thought it was adorable um, and the, the, these pictures, these goofy little pictures, they came from a dating thing, but I just thought they were adorable. So I made you a little mini book that you can put whatever you want to put in here as your private little notes, um, the stuff that you cherish. And I really cherish being a mom. I mean, to me, that is the most exciting thing in the world is to be a mom, have you all be healthy and grown up and responsible, awesome adults. Um, that it just makes me want to tear up. Um, and this also reminds me of you because you're definitely my most daring child. So life is either a daring adventure or nothing. And so that one definitely reminded me of you when I ran across that one. Um, and then you can just tuck something in here too if you want to because it won't fall out. Uh, this you can pull all the way out and write whatever notes you want to write on it. And this is ledger style, so you can create a table of whatever it is you want to keep track of. Um, for instance, like if the baby's not feeling well, um, and the doctor asks you to keep track of something, and you write it down on this ledger after you give it to the doctor and you take it home, these kinds of memories to me are priceless when you run across stuff like that. Um, this is like a matchbook. Um, I know that you, for years and years, didn't like when I smoked cigars. I'm sure you're happy I'm not smoking them now. Um, so this matchbook is kind of that for me. I wanted to make sure that I put that in there. Uh, to Oh, why is it giving you like a little black spot? I'm sorry. There we go. Is that off now? Do I still have a black spot? I don't think so. That was weird. Okay, so... Um, this matchbook, uh, and, and then you can write on the front of it because it looks like a journal right there. This is a magazine page, but I didn't want to lose the information that was on the inside of the magazine page. So take a minute to read this because it's good advice. And then it says, you yourself, as much as anybody in the entire universe, deserve your love and affection. Um, and this is a library card, but not a real one. This is just junk stuff. But uh, just used for you, or just for you to make a journaling page. And then it says, only love can be divided endlessly and still not diminish. And this is 
just a little thing about babies. And slide that back in. And now it shouldn't slip out when it's like this. Plus it's tight. As a, this, These are called belly bands. Tight as a little belly band. So I tried to put a little bit of lace because I love lace and your, gram, your grandmother, not your grandmother, your great grandmother loves lace. And so I tried to add an element of that. And then the alphabet, because when you guys were little, we were always doing the alphabet forwards and backwards and in French. And um, this, this washi is, that's why I use that particular washi all throughout. And to me, the little black elements are elegant. So this is a doily. Not a fancy pants doily, just a paper doily like food because you've been in the food business for as long as you've been working. And so that's why, that's what this doily means to me for you. Now, a lot of people use doilies, so that's not original for me at all. Um, lots of people do that. Uh, this is just a little postcard. Both your oldest sister and I used to collect postcards and your grandmother used to collect postcards. It's not a real postcard, but all it is is just embossed where it says postcard. And then a little flower that is not pink, just because. So let's slide these in there. They don't match. They can just be used wherever you want to use them. And then you can tuck away um, any notes you want to put in there. So there's a ton of journaling space in here for you. So this should last you a long time. And here, um, and every single page, even the silly little doilies, I wanted a touch of bling or a touch of something so it's not just plain white. Um, this you should give your own headline I do believe this needs a headline so find it head out there and do that and then you have a couple of journaling cards that you can pop in here or whatever you want like let's say you have um, your you want to actually keep this as like the medical thing this would be kind of cute and you put your immunizations records in there and the way that this book is made if you want to move a page and move it somewhere else let me just take you to the middle really quick. You can actually pull the pages out. So if you don't want it to be so chubby, you can actually take the pages out by lifting this, separating it, and you can take one page out or many pages out and then just leave it like that. I don't have the pages stitched together on purpose so you can use it however you want. All right, let's go back to the pocket I was in. So I was here. Yep, so it's here. And so you can put whatever you want in these pockets. But I gave you a lot of pockets. That way, if you have little little things you want to remember as keepsakes, but don't want to tape them in because you don't want to damage them, that's what all those pockets are there for. And that's also why the book is so flipping chubby. So right here, this is, this is from uh, a lady that I used to go to church with that mailed this off back in 2005. Um, and, dis and it says 14th of, I think that says, no, no, it's October. 14th of October in 2005. That means that my grandmother, your great-great-grandmother, um, and nobody lives at this address anymore, so it doesn't matter that that's shared. But your great-great-grandmother wasn't around much longer after that, which is heartbreaking. Um, and then grandmother's name is right there. And I thought it was special that you could have for your daughter, um, your grandmother and your great grandmother, a postcard that was sent to them for something that several of us used to collect. And, and it tells you the legend of Spanish moss, which we have hanging all over our trees down here, um, in the house that, that we just bought. And I love the look of Spanish moss. And there's lots of space that's simple, but when you see this darker colored paper that's very thin, it's delicate to write on. So that's why on a lot of them, I put something firm on the other side so it's, it's not difficult to write on it. So here, let me give you the story on this. I don't know if you remember this, but um, way back in the day, I'm sliding this down so you can see it. Um, this was one of the early style of scrapbooking when um, we all used to sit down at that big oak-looking table in the dining room um, and scrapbook together. And this was one of the ones that I have had since then that somebody else made. Um, and just, 
I don't know. It's just been something that I've hoarded forever. But now it, sa it says either love or I love you. I still can't figure out what it says. Because does it say L-O-V-E? Or does it say I heart you? I don't know. But when you see it, you'll see what I mean. And I've just kept that forever because I love it. And then, oh, happy day. So there might be another story you want here. Um, and this is... This is something you can pull out and you can tell the story of something just fabulously happy that you have in here and there's plenty of spot to write there. And so each of these little sections is just meant to give you like a little title or a header to inspire you to write something else. And maybe you write something here too behind your little tuck away. And then as I close this up, these are some of the postcards, and there's five of them in here. Um, these are some of the postcards that have been collected over the years. And I don't really know um, if these postcards were postcards that I picked up along the way or your grandmother picked up along the way, but they were in your grandma's things. Um, and this one is from Mesa, Arizona. Uh, when we went to go see these ruins together and it was We weren't living there at the time that we went to go see them and it's in the middle of the city um, It was in the middle oh well not that we ever lived in Mesa, but we lived near there um, But it looked like it was in the middle of nowhere and really it was in the middle of in the city and these are clusters which I enjoy making and it helps me practice not thinking and um, but that's why you see that it's just a messy pile of things where it says enjoy this is not a family picture and then there's some flowers some gauze because you know there's going to be bumps and bruises along the way um, and then just something for texture and then this vellum sheet right here is baby feet now this tips down and I'll slide it up so you can see that this tips down so this becomes journaling space as well as the book itself. So here's another page where when I look at it, you probably want to put your own kind of thing on it. Um, maybe an index card or something like that. Um, and I suppose I'm never done, but index card just came to mind. And I actually think that would be nice right here. But you can use this as a tuck spot. See how it tucks right underneath there? Or you can lift this yellow piece right here and use that as a tuck spot as well. And just tuck it in. So if you decide that you want me to stitch these in and you, won't, you don't want them to move around, just send me a note and let me know that you want them stitched in. But it might be easier for you to pull them out one at a time and write on a hard surface versus writing on this big mound of things. So on this side is another little journaling spot. Um, and this is just authentic ledger paper that's truly vintage, not made to look vintage. Um, a little bird, because you're now for sure spreading your wings. And then it says fun is good, even though I really messed up the stitch. But it is what it is. Um, treasure these moments. So this ticket, um, I chose to put this in here because I really enjoyed all the different things that we did together as a family. The adventures that we took, the vacations that we took, um, whether it's the RV trips or the amusement parks or the national parks or I don't know, the 50 bazillion things that we did together, especially the zoo and the science center and all that stuff. And so that's why this ticket is here. Um, and then there's just a pile of things for you to write on, even the hearts, which is my last name now. And so that's just meant to be punny with two hearts. Not that it hasn't been my last name for a while, but you know what I mean. Okay. More lace, a little bit of bling. I think it's adorable that my, my girls are much more bling and much better at the whole bling thing than I am. I think that's adorable. Um, more of just the alphabet, um, a subtle little leaf over here, 
no real meaning to that. And just every time you see the bling, it makes me think of the girls. Okay, here's the other side of that, that doily pocket. And it's just a pull-out card for you to journal on. More journaling space. And I'm going to start flipping through more quickly because you get the sense of it until this is where we just went through and I began it for you in my own handwriting and then you can finish the other pages. But something to keep in note. Um, and, and yes, these are the things you, you said today. Um, just something to keep in note is this right here, uh, this tab, when you see this tab, it means that you have journal prompts on, on those pages. And this little box right here is meant to be the description of the outfit or a picture of her um, on her first day home. Um, this flips up so you have double the journaling space. You can write on the front side, the back side, and the underside. Just be careful because this is thin, just normal printer paper, um, and I don't want it to go through on that. So on this page, and I'm hiding that. So on this page, this is the back side of that, that very first page. So this is the last page in the first signature. And then you have a um, journaling spot to use from an old postcard. And this is another one of the postcards from from a long time ago. Look, this is falling. So certain things, because it's roughly attached in some areas, may fall apart. Feel free to just grab a stapler and put it back together. Um, especially on the postcards where I did the clusters. I love you forever. True for you, your baby, all the kids. That's for sure. And then again it says, here's to strong women. May we know them. May we be them. May we, may we raise them. And you could say that about just people in general. Then here, this is, you fold it down for your journaling space on this one. And then it pulls up also to see the cutesiness. This one reminds me of how you and your sister uh, did a couple of times those little photo booths. This is not a pocket. You just write right there. And these pearls, um, well, nothing really special about the pearls. I did it backwards, and I was just going to tell you how I made a mistake, but, but it's all fixed now. It was only supposed to be on this side, but I had it upside down. And the cameras, because you're so photogenic, so there's a couple of cameras in here. And that's just to say to put notes there. And then your favorite color started out yellow. Ended up purple. That's why I have some yellow and purple in here. But no real color theme. Um, I do like purple and red together. And I have two things tangled. There we go. This underside here is a journaling spot as well. And then the growth, the growth record, you do it by the weeks till six weeks. And you can see it's also a little tab like before when it's prompted. And then you just write whatever you want on these journaling spots. Another postcard. Now this postcard is actually one that reminded me of the house that we lived in when you met your, your sweetheart. So, um, yeah, I just thought that you might have a fond memory thinking of it like that. And so a perfect day, even though it was more than a day, obviously. <laughs> it's, um, it's just those, that, that word matched the two little birdies uh, that I have here in, in the little stack of cluster. You can't really write here, so if you choose to write here, then you'll want to put like, um, uh, I don't know, a 3 by 5 card or something and just tape it on like a smash book if you've ever seen the smash books. Another spot that's journaling, it's just trimmed out, and you can even write on the back page here because it's strong enough on that. Um, and of course, more. I'm sick of saying the word journaling. Now here it says, capture life's moments. You know, it's kind of like saying live in the moment. Um, but, well, no, it's not like saying that. It's like writing, it, it's, 
it's to say that this whole book is about capturing the moments with the baby. That's what I was thinking. I knew it was something like that. Then I put it with moments. And then it says to treasure. And so I did this together as moments to treasure. Again, a little camera representing your how photogenic you are and the word clarity. Um, I don't remember what I was thinking. I had something in mind for that. And the little baby dress and booties. Uh, more of the alpha alphabet with your favorite color as a child. Uh, the simple things. The simple things are the things that... Um, does It doesn't seem like a big deal, but um, it's going to be the little teeny things that you get super excited about. And I would love if you called me and told me, Oh my gosh, I can't believe. But she just picked up something for the first time well when you get excited about the simple things jot those simple things down in here that's kind of what that's for um then there's um another journaling spot on the busy busy pages i tried to give you journaling spots to tuck in or add on um, this is a piece of scrap from the quilt that i made um that you'll be getting in the same package you get with this book and then these have two great quotes. A lot can happen in a year. And then this one says, messy, complicated, and afraid. Show up anyway. Um, another camera. This right here, I know this sounds kind of kooky. Um, I probably should put a little bit of washi there. But uh, this is from a printer. <laughs> it's, it's a Polaroid. It works. Um, so celebrate just more journaling stuff. On here, this is another envelope with some stuff inside. But this one just says, love, grandma and grandpa heart. You know, just trying to be punny. Um, can be nowhere near as fabulously punny as your little sister, but I try. And then it just tucks underneath the baby feet again, as long as I don't put it over that. I tried to make these tight so it doesn't bulge out. And then it's also a little bit hidden in case you want to put private information in there. Um, oh yeah, that doesn't pull out. That's just taped down as a journaling spot. Holy smacks, there's two blank pages. Well, you know what? Let's just leave them there. I guess I missed that page when I was going through. Oh, I can't just leave it. Oh, I can just leave it. I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it. So, um, the little, little measurements. I don't remember what I was thinking there either. More of the alphabet. And the finger pointing up, thinking about how heavenly it is to have little babies. Especially when they're sleeping. <laughs> Uh, when they're young like that anyway. All right, and more journaling spaces. Oh, I'm sick of saying journaling spaces now. Uh, this is where you write a couple of the little stories. And you don't have to keep that piece in there. Let's take that out and remove the bulk. There you go. So this one, here's another one of those little tabs. So it tells you to, you know, watch for these and write down how many weeks she was when she noticed that there was light or she reached for an object or she laughed aloud or she rolled over, that kind of stuff. And this just says, remember. Now we're on the last signature and it says... If I had a single flower for every time I think about you, I could walk forever in my garden. And that's how I feel about you for years and years. All, all the kids, actually. Um, and I'm sure I'll feel that way with, with your sweet one. I've done so good so far trying not to say her name. And just more journaling pages. The world shines bright, bright with endless possibilities each time a child is born. And then this is a little matchbook. I have two of them in here. Just to be excited that, you know, nope, I'm no longer smoking cigars. Um, but it's also a cute way to store little notes. 
So one touch of nature makes the whole world ken. William Shakespeare. This came off a little tea packet. And your oldest sister and your grandmother love tea, even though you really don't care for tea all that much. And then I typed with my little typewriter, here, here. Little postage. And then it goes over the word fun, just slips on around it, actually, which makes it tuck nicely. And then it hides in there. And then underneath, you can tuck all kinds of things. So let's say you have a bunch of pictures, all these little tuck spots. You can take these pieces of paper out and put your photographs instead. So just a little bit of, oh, look at that. I have two blingies in one spot. So one of the blingies fell. If they come off, then, yeah, it's okay. Those blingies are not all that strong. This just says a door. Um, that's a standard typewriter. Okay, another bit of history. So these stickers are from all the way back when you guys had to earn the right to use my craft supplies when you were making your scrapbook pages. I don't know if you remember that, but that was a long time ago. Um, I don't know if they'll still be sticky, but I have, I have the old stash. I still have a bunch of the stickers from the old stash. I have to see. Yep, still sticky. And this is too. So these are some of the vintage Creative Memories photo corners. I even remember purchasing them. So, yeah. I don't know why I can remember things like that. I don't remember stuff I want to remember, but that's okay. Let's hope I can get it back in there because this is ripped. There we go. And it's back in nice and safe. And so for anyone who's making a journal that's private for someone else, you know, and you've done something specific with them, then, then let them know why, why you did it. Like, I put this bingo card in here because I used to go play bingo with your Aunt Judy, your great Aunt Judy. Um, right here are more things that you can just pull out. There's more of these wise little cute things, the cat and the dog, and this cat is white like yours. Um, I mean, it just worked out. I didn't plan it that way. She's, it's just white like yours. And then the owls, I thought they were wise and adorable, you know, reminds me of you with how awesome you did with school. You really should feel proud. Oh wait, is this something? Yeah, that's just journaling space. It's making sure I didn't forget something. It just slips in there. Sorry, I keep putting my hands in the way. Now this is hard for you to journal on, um, but I thought that you could put a you know a photo on here when you have something like that. It's a beautiful background for photos. And again, this is left blank, and you could put um, even a photo on top here. And this book will be one fabulous chubby book. And whenever you're ready for me to stitch it, just let me know. Um, just as always, you rock. I just wanted to mention it. Love you. You're number one groupie. And then just put some lines for you to journal on. Another postcard like this that I used before. Again, this tuck spot, you could take these things out and put pictures in there instead. Um, and I use this like a tuck spot for the same reason. And if you wanted to, you could even mount the pictures on top of some of these things. And then write notes about them. Don't forget to write the notes of who all's in the picture, because in some cases, you just forget. So this is Sweet Little Tweety. It was one of your favorites when you were little. And I think it's because he was yellow. Um, and, and like before, the same tab, because it takes you through. Crawled, first step, stood alone. Where did the steps happen? First birthday. Don't know if you want to put pictures there, if you want to write a little story. Through a bowl, climbed stairs with help, climbed stairs unaided, climbed into the chair unaided, jumped down from blank at blank. So I'm, I've got a couple of really funny stories of things like that. So I just wrote these, these pages in in different stories. Um, that way it helps guide you on your journey. Just more journaling spaces. Okay, these are the photo corners that you can use throughout you have um, four plates that are four inches by six inches. And the way I did it is with a piece of paper that was cut to four by six, and then I attach them. But what you can do is you can just take the four photo corners, attach them to the corners of your picture, and just lay it down. Um, my previous video actually 
No, oh, I don't know the minute that that's on, but I did that in one of my previous videos. Um, family photos, and then here are some more things that you can take out because these just act like tuck spots too. Um, again, you have this to pull you to the growth record from two months to 11 months. You had that other one that was, you know, newborn to six weeks. This is the potty training page when she first says no. And then if you flip this up, this is just funny. It's little things about toilet training. And so when you get ready to do that, um, you may not find it funny, but you know, it, there was gonna be some kind of a funny story and you probably wanna write it down. So let me make sure I put this in safely. This is just a magazine page with a toilet, so I don't wanna mess that up. There we go. And then here, you just pull this out and write another little note about the toilet and it slips right into the lid like it's fallen into the toilet. Right there. And I tried it to put it below where it says potty training. These are also little tucks or you can just use it to write stories. And then that just adds something there. Don't worry, I'm almost done. So this is also from the quilt um, with a really messy stitch. Um, and then you can put a picture here. More journaling space on the other side of the envelope. And this flips up to give you twice as much. That's a little cluster that says, There's pleasure in the pathless woods from Lord Byron. It's so chubby when you get to the end, you'll actually appreciate being able to yank it out to write it. Um, just more more journaling space. What do I have in here? I never know. Oh, my favorite things. Write a list of her favorite things on there um, as she gets older. And then there's a journaling spot here that says Sweet Sunshine. And then it says, This is only the beginning. Cherish. And believe me, it goes so fast. You're not going to believe it, but... Oh, it goes so fast. And kisses, and you might want to take a picture of her giving kisses or something like that. That's what that was to inspire. Savor the moment. Now, this is just one really clustery one, but it has all kinds of seashells. And my mom and I tried to um, teach you guys all different kinds of things, and I never spent the time to teach you what each seashell was. Um, so that reminded me of that. But this is the main reason this one's on here is these are seashells from Florida. Um, and so these, you know, you're from Florida, I'm from Florida, and your sweet baby is, is not, but, um, just wanted to have a little piece of Florida in here because you also have some Arizona in here. So the creation of a thousand forests is in one acorn. I just think that that, that is fabulous and perfect for a baby book because it's just like the tree of life, right? You know, the family tree. So savor this moment of joy. I don't know what you want to put in here, but even though it's already messy, if you wanted to, you could probably unstaple it and just keep it as it is. But I just love those cluster messes. They make me happy. Again, journaling space on the back side of that. So right here, maybe she's celebrating some birthday or some event. Um, and so I just left it blank what she's celebrating. You can put a picture right there. As I flip it, and it's, it's just so chubby. I feel like I need to rest it on something. Um, more journaling space. And this is the last card. Uh, this is the trip to the Grand Canyon that we went on. Probably very hard for you to remember because it was so many years ago. Um, and, and there's a tuck right here where you can pull out the little flowers. Hi there, turtle. I am actually going through this and explaining to my daughter why I included some of the things I included from at the very end of the the junk journal walkthrough. With a little hot air balloon. I don't know if you've done that le yet, but I bet you it's on your bucket list. Um, you are my adventuresome one. Um, oops, have some glue. Goodness knows you'll probably run into more glue. But I'll tuck that back in. And then... This is just the last page and it says heaven sent. And if you have a tiny little picture, that would be so cute right there. And maybe another picture up top, but however you want to use it. 
So here is just more spots for you to write things. No real purpose of this. You know, date, subject, occasion, place, comments. And that's kind of cute to have in a journal. Um, and it could be in any kind of a journal, but, but for this baby book, it seemed to be perfect. And it's kind of tight, so let me trim it off a little bit. I said I wasn't going to mess with anything, but it really is too tight. Oh, look at that. I need to trim it by hand. So if I'm going to trim it by hand, I'm going to go a little wonky on purpose. Because, because I want to. That's why. Your mom's a little wonky. And for those of you who are my crafting friends, yep, uh, you know I'm a little wonky too. So that's cute. All right, with that said, um, with the feather and the little typewriter, a little bit of bling, and that is the end. Now, on the outside, I have the key in the lock, and it's just symbolic for you having the key to my heart, and she has the key to your heart, and that's how it goes, and she also is going to have the key to my heart, I'm sure. But with that said, that's it. That's how it goes, and I'm going to try to keep... I'm going to bind it with the white one. You really don't need to when you get it, but I'm going to try to flatten it out a little bit because it's still poofy because it's just fresh and new, like your sweetheart. <laughs> and if I make it go tight, then it, it flattens it out a little bit. There we go. So it's not going to be perfect when you get it, but... It'll still be flattening. And then you're going to make it even chubbier when you start adding all the pictures and stuff. So, love and hugs to you. And this will probably be your permanent closure is the little hemp. Um, and I can make that be just a tiny little bow. And I suppose you may need the white one for when you add all your pictures and this thing just sets up on its own without any assistance. Oh my gosh, it already does. Even when it's chubbied out. And spread it out to try to tighten it. There we go. All right, well, love and hugs to you all. Love and hugs to you, sweetheart, and hopefully you enjoy filling this journal out. And um, even if you don't, um, it'll still be it'll still be fun for the the baby to someday flip through how crazy her grandma is. All right, love and hugs, everybody. Bye bye. And thanks for joining me, Turtle. Take care.